Well, hello there. The traffic goes by. I'd like to say thank you for clicking on the video today. This is Nate, Bates Manufactured Home Tours. Today we are at uh, Great Homes in Missoula, Montana. I've been here uh, once before. These are some of the very first homes I put on the channel. Came back and I got a couple others that I didn't have before. So I figured I'd get those and uh, redo some of the others that I did that were some of the very first ones I did just so I could get better videos of them, do them justice like they deserve. So if you haven't already, go down there and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, let me know what you think of the homes. So we're not going to be able to get too much of the backside here. We got uh, part of another home sitting right next door. I'll try to get you a little bit of a shot down here. So back around on the front here, as you can see, we've got a really nice extra large porch on the front of this home. Now this is a triple wide. So you got lots of space in this one. A couple really nice features I'm sure you guys are going to like once you get inside. A couple things that I can't really say I've seen. So one thing I do like about this one is you've got uh, rough cut natural wood or natural or dark stain I should say with natural stain on the windows there. It's all rough cut. So it really gives you that uh, more of a natural feeling on your siding there. So as you can see, you get a really big porch comes standard on this home. So this porch is the full width of one of your sections. So just to give you an idea, these are about 13 foot sections. So you got a really big porch. Some really big windows there. And I really like the entranceway. Three large panes in your door. Nobody can see in them. Of course you do got this one here that you can clearly see inside. Now the first thing you get when you come in is a little entranceway, nice little coat closet. Now when I looked at the floor plans, this is actually set up to be a dining room. According to the floor plan, this is a dining room here, and that's the living room over there. So if I was going to be putting a table out in this area here, I think I would have to disappear with some of that carpet but some people like carpet in their dining room but clearly we've got a nice big living room area and uh, let's see we've got one two uh, three possibly four layers if you want to call it for your uh, tray ceiling there which really makes it feel nice and big They got a couple of air conditioners set up in the home here. It's uh, about 90 or close to 90 degrees outside, yeah, if I'd say so. So, trying to keep it a little cooler in here. So, there's a big windows in your living room there that we couldn't really see much from the outside. And as I said, this is going to be your dining room area or you could set it up for whatever else you want to set it up as. But one of the things I really liked was this right here. So you've got this little work area, office area, lots of cabinetry in here. So this is something I haven't seen. I mean a lot of homes have had little desks or whatever but they're all kind of right in the hallway or 
just kind of almost seemed like an afterthought whereas this has clearly been thought out makes a nice desk area of course uh, my my video editing monitor would not fit right there mine's a 32 inch and that's a little bit too short for the monitor to fit there a little too narrow in the high spot I should say so but all in all for the average size monitor it would fit in there perfectly and you can see it's all soft closed doors it, as I've mentioned in some of my videos I do like the natural stain I'm not a fan of painted cabinets I like them either natural stain or dark stain and in here is your kitchen I guess I should show you more of the kitchen as we will first walk in and hopefully I can remember to keep my turns a little slower I know a couple people have mentioned that I'm a little too fast when I'm turning the camera so I'll try to keep that in mind once again really nice large cabinets flat top stove so you get the uh, gunmetal gray or black stainless steel as they call it and your Frigidaire appliances and I really like this glass backsplash countertop all the way up to the bottom of your cupboards there's a really big window above your sink now, kind of grown accustomed to seeing the one piece large sink there and the big J hook style uh, faucets so probably something that I'm sure you could easily upgrade if you wanted to but I do really like the looks of these appliances in here huge refrigerator freezer down below couple more cabinets around your refrigerator there so now this isn't the biggest pantry that I've seen. Of course this is a triple wide you would think there would be something slightly larger and who knows maybe there is. There's lots that we haven't seen yet in this home. So coming over here we've got as you can see a really large dining room area. Our morning room as the floor plan calls it. So you can see this is really big. We got a huge table here but now one thing we haven't looked at is what's behind door number two in this kitchen oh looky there as I said there possibly could be another pantry huge pantry not only is it a huge pantry but unlike some places, you've got room for your stand-up freezer right there, basically right off your kitchen or right in your kitchen still. So you don't have to go walking into the laundry room or utility room to uh, get to your stand-up freezer or your deep freeze or whatever else you might have in there. So now back over here is your laundry room. There's that back door that we looked at on the outside gonna be your laundry area nice to see no wire rack up above it a little cabinet space right here and here's gonna be your uh, hot water tank and your furnace lots of counter space even in here really nice cabinets all the way through can't say I've ever seen anything like this in a home either 
Nice little drawers to put stuff in. And they continued on with that backsplash. Didn't go all the way up to the bottom, but uh, close enough. It looks really good. Like I said, I'm not used. Can't say I've ever seen a set of cabinets like that in the utility room, so it's really nice to see. And over here is going to be bathroom number two, which is your guest bathroom. Hello, Raiden. How you doing? Those of you that are new here, I do have a, well, he's almost seven now. A six and a half year old kid, he'll be seven here in a couple months. He likes to watch me edit the video sometimes and he gets excited when I wave to him. So I try to make it a point. And there's a really large, really deep tub here. So I'm hoping they can kind of do it justice here. But it's a one piece shower tub combo. And we got the uh, first bedroom over here. Really large bedroom. So as you can see, your closet space is going to basically be that whole area right there. So you got nice large closets in here. Bedroom number two. Now just as a walk through real quickly, these bedrooms appear to be just about the same size. But they are really nice big bedrooms. Closets are about the same size also. Now a lot of you are probably going to notice the vents are in the floor. I do know that uh, that is an option to have the vents moved to the ceiling in this home. And I'm sure some of you have also noticed that the trim down on the flooring is not painted. It is a natural color. Um, that will be painted when the house is fully assembled and ready to go or set up, I should say. So we had a coat closet on the back side. Looks like we've got a linen closet on this side. And now the main bedroom. So this bedroom is really big. Get to look out on your, on your front porch there. So lots of space in here to put your dressers and whatever else you want. You can probably even put yourself a little sitting chair right there. Then you get a nice big closet. Now mind you, there's a bunch of trim supplies in here, so keep that in mind. Kind of detect, detracts from the look a little bit, but you can see there's a really long closet. Lots of storage space. Got the double shelves there. Got shoe rack in the corner there. Place for the ladies to hang their dresses or whatnot that uh, they need the extra length for. And here's the bathroom. Now there's one thing that in this bathroom that I would definitely change if I was to buy it. Of course you can probably see some of it already. But you do got a, some really nice fixtures up there. Nice big vanity mirror. Lots of drawers and cabinet space down below. Big soaker tub.
nice window to look out. And they continue with that same glass backsplash along the edge of the tub there. Got your water closet. And over here is going to be your shower. Now this is the one thing that I would change about this bathroom. I prefer to probably try to find a better place for it too in my opinion. Maybe move the water closet back over here and the shower over there if I could and then get it as a tile. I've just I've noticed Kit Homes tends to put the shower behind the door and seems to always be not the best place in my opinion but I'm sure you could probably modify that and move it to swap those two around if you wanted so if you made it this far I'd like to say thank you hope you hit that like button hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell to remind you when I upload videos uh, I was hoping to by the by now to be uploading three times a week Unfortunately, due to shorthandedness at work, I have not been able to travel much and get a lot of videos. So when I do, though, it'll be every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm currently, right now, just Sunday and Wednesday. So I hope you liked what you've seen, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.